What planet is closest to the sun? Uh, Saturn? The first ten amendments of the Constitution is known as what? Like, what's the name of that? The first part of the Constitution. <laughs> Bill of Rights. Oh, the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights. The bit, yeah. Bill of Rights. The first ten amendments is like, what, the introduction to the Constitution? The preface? Is that how you say that word? Abraham Lincoln was what number president? Second. What's my answer? Right? Come third, on, bro. You said third. Step it up. Easy? Easy. <laughs> He was a 16. Oh, shit. <laughs> so confident. I was close. I, I was love close. it. <laughs> Not at all. What is an isosceles triangle? Isn't it a triangle that ha all adds up to under 90 degrees? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. It's a triangle? It's a triangle. <laughs> it's but, a type of triangle. But, what's an isosceles triangle? It's three. It's three? Yeah, so you have three points, but it's like kind of, it's off. Geometry, bro. Easy. Easy. What is the closest planet to the sun? Earth? You stupid! Earth? You stupid! Mars? You stupid! Closest to the sun? I think it's Venus. You stupid! What planet is closest to the sun? Hey, hey, check this out, check this out. The moon. <laughs> I don't know, the stars? You stupid! What is it? It's Mercury. Oh. You oh. said the moon? The moon's not a planet. Okay, I'm a psychology major. That's nonsense. And you should know better. Who discovered electricity? Uh, um, what's his Albert name? Albert Einstein. Yeah. No, 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 no. Thomas Edison. Darwin. Sit the fuck down. Who discovered electricity? Uh, Albert Einstein. Wrong. Albert Einstein? Wrong. Oh, I know this one. Well, do I get multiple choice? I'll give you multiple okay. choice. So you got Benjamin Franklin, you got Thomas Edison, and you got George Washington. Edison. Thomas Edison. No, not neither of them. It was the guy with the key. Congratulations. You played yourself. George Washington. Okay. You got Benjamin Franklin. You got Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. Uh, physics. <laughs> no physics doubt. Bitch. No doubt. <laughs> Spell privilege. Spell. P R I V E L E G E. P R I V E L. P R V. P R I V. I-L, oh shit, E-D-G-E. -E. There's no D in the word privilege. What the hell? Yeah. No, that looks wrong. <laughs> P-R-I-V-I-L-A-G-E. -E. There we go. Nice. Sacramento City taught me something, you know. What year did the Civil War take place? Oh, hell no! What year, or what years, did the Civil War take place? It was a four-year span. Civil War, is it in the 1900s or the 1800s? You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. What years did the Civil War take place? 68 through 72? No! 79? No! 1800 BC. Hell no! It's like 17-something. Yes. 17-something? 17 17 yeah. It was 1861 to 1865. Yeah, it was semi-close. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a, a rectangular box that's 4 by 11 inches, what's the perimeter? 4 you, by 11? Yeah. 15. The perimeter? Perimeter. Isn't it base times width mm. divided by 2? Hell no! 4 plus 4 is 8. 11 times 2 is 22. 8 plus 22 is 30. You smart. Aren't you supposed to add up, like, all the sides? I'm not sure. I don't <laughs> know, <bro. laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you supposed to know. add up the size, yeah. So that's What are you supposed to add up? What are you supposed to add up? Aren't you supposed to add up like all the sides? I'm not sure. Who was the first person to step on the moon? Neil Armstrong, Lance Armstrong, or John Stockton? <laughs> Neil Armstrong. Was it Neil Armstrong? Neil Armstrong. What are the three primary colors? Red, red blue, blue yellow. yellow. What are the three primary colors? Red, blue, green. Yellow. Red, blue, yellow. <laughs> red. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Shit. Green? Um, red, blue, and green. Uh, yellow, green, and red? Red, um... Red, blue, and I'll go green. No, not correct. Oh, it's yellow. <laughs> yeah, it's I yellow. knew it. Is it? Um, red, blue, and yellow. Mm, correct. You're very smart. If you mix red paint with green paint, what do you get? Red with green. Mm -hmm. Purple? Brown? Shit, I don't know. If you mix red paint and green paint, what do you get? More paint, nigga. <laughs> If you have a ten dollar item and you get twenty five percent off, how much is that item? Seven fifty. If an item costs ten dollars and you get a twenty five percent discount, how much are you paying? Like five. About I really need to write this shit. I need a calculator or something. Wait, hold on. 50% would be $5, mm -hmm. and a quarter of that would be two fifty. dollars so you get two fifty off $10, which is $8.50? Um, $8.50. You're so close. What is it? Seven fifty. Fuck. What are the two types of carbohydrates? Uh, simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. Ooh. What are the two types of carbohydrates? There's like two two oh. categories. You have this type of carbohydrate, this type of carbohydrate. Chemical exchange. Yeah, I don't know. Chemical exchange. God damn, I saw it on your paper. <laughs> wait, wait, okay, ask me again. No, it's not chemical exchange. Oh. <laughs> what are the two types of carbohydrates called? You eat pasta, that's carbs. No doubt. And bread? Yeah. Easy. <laughs> if wood is burning, is it a chemical change or a physical change, or is it a mixture of both? Oh. Chem... Chemical. Uh, chemical. Physical. <laughs> Mixture. I'm gonna go with physical change. Final answer. Physical change. Fire is a chemical change, so both. This is a complicated question. I wanna say it's both. I wanna Mixture? say it's, yeah, I would say it's both. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's right, mom. When you burn wood, is that known as a physical change, a chemical change, or a mixture? Chemical change. Yeah, she saw the answer. It's because I'm smart. <laughs> Name the five oceans. Atlantic, Pacific, mm -hmm. Indian, mm -hmm. another one. Pacific, Atlantic. No. Oh. Uh, Pacific, Atlantic, China Sea. You said China? <laughs> Pacific, mm -hmm. Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Uh... I was just looking at a map like three minutes ago. Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic, mm -hmm. Indian, Indian. It's Mediterranean. One? That's a sea. That's a sea. Oceanic. Oceanic Ocean. You dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> All right, last question. If you answer this, you pass the test off tops. Okay. If the president and the vice president mm -hmm. both died, they both got assassinated. Mm -hmm. Headshot. Who becomes the new president? Um, no one because of the Really, nigga? If both the president and the vice president were to be assassinated, who would be the next president? The Senate? The Senate? I don't know. You know the Senate is like a group of people. Uh, the military leader? <laughs> this makes me feel so dumb, you guys. <laughs> the head of the House of Representatives. I think. Yeah, she got it. You need to like his exact name. Nah, nah, no. just like oh, his position. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, got, you guys got Which it. Which is Michelle Obama. Fuck. That's we, fuck. We fuck fifth grader. <laughs> <laughs>
No. No. It doesn't go down. No, because 30%... Of 40% is 20% of 30%. Uh, is it 20% of... Is it 60? Yeah, that's crazy. Fuck, is it 60%? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Nice. <laughs> oh. This table is definitely smart. We gotta get away from this. Can I ask you a question? Talk oh to my me. Now, nah, you guys, what, what type of... This. Talk to me. How many tickles does it take to tickle an octopus? Easy. Come on. Come on. How many tickles does it take? Yeah. To tickle an octopus? Yeah. Just one tickle. I'm a strong ass tickler. Octopus. One tickle. He's octopus. tickled. I'll see you later. Right? <laughs> Don't take my iPod with you. <laughs> hey, step it up. Come on. That's not acceptable? Tentacles. Why? Why? Tentacles. Ah! Should a nigga hoe around before he settles down? You gotta hoe around. My nigga, listen, if I go to the mall, you can't just find the first nice shirt you see and try it on. Sure, it's a nice shirt and you like yeah. it, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Check out the other deals. Nigga, you gotta check out that store, try on shirt, see which one fits you best, which one compliments you best, yeah. which one. That's how you really get the best possible shirt. That's how you get the best bitches. You gotta be out in the field. And even with these bitches, it's like you gotta kiss a couple frogs until you meet your prince. That's just the way it is. That's just the way that, now I'm not saying go crazy and start nigga kissing the whole fucking pond. Nah. But then you're gonna have to kiss a couple. You're gonna get fucked over.